What up, what up? Welcome back to the Sneaker History Podcast. My name is Nick Ingvall. Got the whole crew with me tonight to talk about uh, some non-sneaker stuff, actually, but we'll get into that in a few minutes. What's good, fellas? How you guys doing? I'm good, man. I am, I, ain't, I can't complain. How about you guys? Team Portland's yeah. doing all right. How about you, Robbie? <laughs> everybody started doing everybody started doing hand things. So I was like, I got excited. Oh, I, I don't know well. what to do. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I'm that's good. My, uh, that's my Winter Soldier. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the feeling winner, handsy. The, feudal, the right to bear arms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good one. <laughs> oh man well so before before we get into uh the the, sh- the topic tonight the show tonight um which is going to be about falcon and the winter soldier so spoiler alert if you haven't watched the series definitely don't listen to the rest of this because we'll probably spill all the beans and then some but let's let's talk about what we're rocking and copping this week I, i'm i'm actually just waiting for robbie's review because i got a little sneak peek i don't think mike was on early enough to see it but um, oh, got, I'm going like... to be surprised too. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh okay. man. All right. Well, shoot. Got I guess me. guess I'll start then. I want I want Robbie to go last. Cause I want to just like to build up the excitement now. Um, today I actually broke out the Yeezy 500 Stone. Um, this one is very underrated because I guess people didn't like it as much with the neoprene padding as opposed to the just the mesh. But super comfortable. Uh, the more you wear it, that that suede just gets a whole lot nicer. The more you wear it. And uh, what I'm copying, guys, I'm going to have to take a break, you know, with the baby coming. So I ended up, I had to go out with one last bang. And there may or may not be a pair of uh, Bape Adidas superstars coming to my house within the next couple of days. So, okay. Like nice. any good drug addict, I got to get one more hit before <laughs> I quit. <laughs> one hard one. I was like, give me, give me the best stuff you got. There may be something coming second to that, too. I may have got a little wild clicking buttons, but... We'll see if it actually uh, if it pans out, but you guys will be the first to know. I was gonna say that better be a baby, Mike. Otherwise, she's gonna kill you. All right. I said, hey, you know, I got I got, I got a, my hiatus gift to myself because I got I got to take a break. <laughs> a push gift to yourself is really nice. Uh, for me, what I was rocking today because it was quasi summerish, Kyrie two, summer. And I think nice. it's a Ooh. spiritual homage to what I think Robbie will be blessing us with by the end of this segment. But I love the Kyrie too because oh I'm a big fan God. of any sort of Velcro. And yeah, I just thought it was the appropriate thing. And then for what I'm rocking or what I'm copping, I don't know. Just pick a LeBron 8 or anything. I'm kind of in a rut. I, <laughs> I have some cash to burn, but I don't know what. So I will gladly take suggestions from people within our Discord or our Patreon. Nick, what about you? All right, so I'm going to stick with the uh, the Velcro. I pulled out the uh, Nike Ooh, Air Race okay. today. I can't remember what year this is from, 2000, yeah, 2007, 2008, whenever that was. Ooh. Old. And, oh, dang. Uh, That's what's up. Creased up. You can see how creased up that toe box is, but, you know, these shoes are just almost indestructible, so I love them. Um, as far as what I'm copping, uh, kind of been obsessed over those racer blue threes that I saw, uh, yesterday. So Clean. that's, yeah, that's, that's going to be like, like a summer shoe for me. I think. How about, how about you, Robbie? That's a good pick. What's the racer blue three? Kind of looks like a fragment, the fragment color. Yeah. One? Oh, Which of course okay. will mean it'll be impossible to get and cost three hundred dollars oh, okay. more I- than retail. On I just Googled it. Man, that's a really basic shoe. That's that very just made good. me sad. Thanks, Nick. I like that one too. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's a good looking basic shoe. Like a very, very summer ready. It's clean, man. Do it with anything. Um, I finally got the the Travis Scott sixes in in today. I get goosebumps nice. every time. <laughs> Are you underwhelmed, <laughs> overwhelmed? Like, what? How do you feel about them? I am appropriately that was whelmed. Good, by the way, Roy. <laughs> I had a uh, I had high expectations. I have I've actually seen Travis Scott in concert twice, so I actually legitimately enjoy oh, cool. his music enough. And I struck out every time, and I'm not spending the money on resale. But I didn't know they were glow in the dark until um, Stanley actually posted his photos last week. And I was like, "Oh, they glow!" So I'm for sure going to be like in the bathroom in the dark, just <laughs> standing there on the floor, like staring at the. 
<laughs> at the glow in the dark, but they're cool. They have the, the 3M other... reflective underneath here. There's and a lace other, lock what, in the, the other uh, okay, lace lock is in. in. Yeah, like hides in there. I heard. Yeah. I was like, I don't know if that's true, but I was like, I'm gonna ask you if you have it. And they did appropriately brand everything. So underneath the the lace shroud here, it says like the, the cactus jack. Inside the tongue, it says Cactus Jack on the sock liner, on the heel, like everywhere. And uh, I didn't realize it had this like triple like uh, loop to like put a carabiner or something in it, too. It's a very good use of the Jordan 6 region. But they're cool. Nice, they're dude. very cool shoes. Um, yeah, I like them. On the complete opposite of the spectrum... I'm feeling all the kamikaze twos I keep seeing, whether it's like a, a PE or it's like the black and white kamikaze two low. Yeah, the low is fine. I enjoy the mid top so much or high top. I think I'll very much enjoy the low, especially if you want to get really crazy and have like a white and black athletic sock, like a single stripe or double stripe sock in the summertime with a black and white low kamikaze two. That's a crazy. It's a crazy, affordable, accessible cop right there. Go buy some stance socks and the Kamikaze 2. Kill it. Nothing sexier than financial responsibility. So thank you for yeah. teaching us how to ball on a budget. Yeah, 100 bucks. <laughs> probably less than 100 bucks. You could get yeah. mm-hmm. the Kamikaze 2 and a good pair of stance socks. It's True about statement. the fit, people. If your shoes are cool, but you're, you look busted... You're just a buster in some cool shoes. You're Story kind of, of like life. at a fashion meet. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Nick's no, like, I on. feel personally attacked right now. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no but I was going to say this. It's the fashionista equivalent of a booty do. And if you don't know what a booty do, actually, now nah, that sounds like a bad joke. Never mind. All right. <laughs> but, bad joke's on full effect, huh, really? Getting ready. But, Nick's hats are never faded. They're always good and dark That's black. True. The t-shirts are not faded. So you can go super simple. Just have it on point. And Nick has so many hats and so many tees. They're always crispy. So don't play yourself, Nick. I mean, that is, that is kind of like, I just I just stuck with the formula since I was a teenager. Basically, once I started wearing Dickies and Ben Davis shorts and, and pants, it was like, okay, well, this makes sense. Now I just changed the t-shirt or changed the hoodie. <laughs> Change the hat, change the shoes. <laughs> I said, this makes sense. I'm good here. I like it. Yep. I am yeah, at change the thong. <laughs> like, hey, man. Yeah, I, I, I just picture, Nick, you have a alternate podcast called Hat History, and it's the bizarro version of us, like that Seinfeld episode. <laughs> so. <laughs> I should do that. Do I should do a, a, a hat podcast that'd be kind of fun actually i was like he didn't deny it i was like now i gotta go search for it i'm like all yes. right let's yeah. see what's going yeah. on here yeah oh man well uh so i i didn't look and see if we had any reviews oh my god hold reviews? on nick premium unlitted call the 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 podcast at a premium unleaded because you like yes. cars premium unlitted because you got hats <laughs> yeah there we go okay i'm oh, sorry oh, snap. i'm done Brandon, i'm sorry right now I will buy the Hats merch. Hats off to you, Robbie. Hats off to you. <laughs> this you can't you can't buy this kind of content, guys. You like it? No, I was gonna straight. say come, come for the sneakers, stay for the puns. Because if there's one thing we do well, it's exactly that two combo. Very punny. 